In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install large language models locally and use it as an API in N8N. For that, let's start by installing Olama first. While you wait, make sure to subscribe for more coding and automation stuff like this. After the installer is downloaded, run it to install Olam on your PC. After installing Olama, go back to the Olama website and click on Models. Here you can see all the different large language models available for installation in Olama. Choose the one you prefer. For this tutorial, I'm going with DeepSeek. Now copy the command in the top right and paste it in your command prompt, or terminal if you're using Linux. Now while running the command for the first time, Olama will automatically download and install the AI model locally. Just wait for it to download and install. Now the model is installed successfully. You can also communicate with the AI model, command prompt. But since we're focused on running it as API for N8N today, we'll exit this and run Olama serve command to enable Olama API. Now let's head to our N8N and create a simple workflow with AI LLM. If you want to learn how to run N8N locally like me, I've made a tutorial on it too. Make sure to check it out from the link in description. Now for the model, let's add Olama chat model. Normally, if you're using N8N from a VPS server or from N8N.io, you don't have to replace this and just click the save button. But in my case, I'm running the N8N in Docker, so the local host should be replaced with the following. Here you'll see all the models you've installed on the llama. Select the one you want. Now, give your prompt here. For this tutorial, I'll ask it to write a blog on GeoServer. By the way, if you want to learn about GeoServer or any other tools like that, make sure to tell it in the comments section. Now let's run this workflow. Boom, now we have the response from DeepSeek model that is running locally. But as you can see, the reasoning is also included in the response. To fix it, let's add an output parser to separate the reasoning from the output.
This will fix the response. Now let's run the workflow again. That's it. Now we have the reasoning and output separately. You can improve the prompt to get longer content. But now let's move on to the bonus of this tutorial. Ever wished of having a best AI chat platform like ChatGPT or DeepSeek Chat or Perplexity that has no limits? Runs privately at free of cost? With Olama, you can do that too. For that, first install OpenWeb UI using pip. Now after installing, execute open web UI serve command and wait for a while for it to start. It may take a minute or two to start completely. Meanwhile, open localhost 8080 in your browser. When you're running this for the first time, you'll have to create an account. It doesn't have to be your real name or email. The authentication is for enabling multiple accounts and users. Now, bam, you have an interface like ChatGPT for starting conversations with the large language model that you now have installed locally. Best part is it works even without internet and the whole conversations are private. You can also share your codes without worrying of it being stored in public servers or being used for training. Here you can view and select the models you've installed. Now let's try it out. Awesome, isn't it? The only con of running these models locally is you will need a good GPU with at least 12 gigabytes VRAM. Now let's ask it for a simple Pi code. That's great, right? Now, we have come to the end of the tutorial. Please make sure to subscribe for more tutorial and also share this tutorial with others too. See ya.